Aries, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a second half of December 2020 general read. Um, no particular subjects, we'll take an issue of something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, potential outcome. We'll clarify all that and get a message out there. It, um, it's not going to resonate for every single Aries, so do check out your replacements, your moon, rising, Venus, any stellium you have in your chart. For further messages. Um, so second half of uh, December, it's uh, Merry Christmas if you do celebrate, uh, hope you have a wonderful time. I know it's going to be a difficult one this year with uh, current restrictions, but you know, try and enjoy yourself as much as you can. Um, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, everything triggers the algorithms, continues the growth, it's much appreciated, so if you haven't done so, please do. And if you uh, want to delve into your own situation deeper, check out the description box for details of private readings. So. 2020, last two weeks, and then it's done. Yeah, thank God. Okay, two more. Aries. Ooh, nine of pentacles, financial independence coming. Fantastic. Something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent past. Immediate future and potential. Oh, wow, Aries, you do it every time. Page of Wands with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. There's a message that's coming in that's going to give you brand new stars left, right, and center with the full. Some good news is coming. Could be financial with the Nine of Pentacles here. Uh, it's something that you've manifested. It's something that um, you're certainly going to be celebrating. And it's for it's reward. It's re receiving benefits in kind, you know. What you've give out to the universe, you're now receiving in rewards. So fantastic, well done, Aries. Nine of Pentacles, like I say, feeling good, looking good, financially independent, brilliant. What you're aware of is a Seven of Wands. I, I, this is what you're aware of. I kind of feel like you're picking and choosing who you let into your energy now, which is good. Um. And you're at peace with who you've cut away as well. What you're not aware of is the Four of Wands, celebrations, it's wedding cards. But I kind of feel like this is celebration, something you don't see yet. So this manifestation may not have come in just yet. But it's a cause for celebration. It is the Twin Flame energy as well. Um, I'm trying my best not to use the Twin Flame sort of scenario nowadays. I, wonder, I don't want people assuming it's their story and, you know. There's a whole world of uh, psychological analysis I could go into there, but I don't uh, don't wish to delve into that one. Um, the recent past is the magician. This is you manifesting your desires. You've been at it for six months now, seven months since I started, I think it was. Um, but you know what, it's going to pay off. That's what's coming in is judgment. Again, like I say, judgment is here to reward what's been done. Reward for your yeah, returned in kind. And the outcome. Yeah. What a way to end 2020. The sun card. The happiest card in the deck. Fantastic. To be honest, with all your readings that I've done for you, Aries, you don't seem to ever... Um, you just seem to get stronger and stronger, which is fantastic. Um, it couldn't end any other way, could it really? <laughs> fantastic yep perfect you know the page of ones is here with the ace of cups in it and it's something that you've worked hard and waited for you know seven of pentacles here you've done the hard work you've waited for the harvest and here it comes so nine of pentacles is with the queen of pentacles 
you're going to be very abundant. Uh, this is somebody that's going to be capable of not only having a beautiful home but all the furnishings in it as well. Wonderful. Something you're aware of. Um, so this could be an increase in finances, some gift coming somewhere, a message that's going to increase your finances, something like that. Um, what you're aware of is a seven of wands with a two of pentacles. Again, I kind of feel like you've balanced your emotions now because you're cutting out, you're protecting your energy. Uh, those that are just too much up and down, you just no place for them, no time for them. And uh, you're protecting yourself from that 50-50 energy, you know, the one that's some minute they're up, some minute they're down, you just completely protected yourself from it. What you're not aware of is the four of wands, is with the five of wands. Okay, so you're going to be... You're going to be celebrating. There's going to be a lot of jealousy um, around you. Uh, there could be, for, for some of you out there, especially the ones that are single, uh, there's not only going to be um, maybe someone coming in, but there's going to be a few that are going to want to um, get your attention. The recent past is the magician with the high priestess. You've used all your tools, all your tools necessary. You've manifested. You've used your intuition. You've um, you've been secretive when you needed to be secretive. You've kept things um, again, protecting your energy. You've kept things from from people, not in a deceitful way. In a you know, this is my manifestations. You don't need to know what I'm doing. That type of um, energy. Um, judgment in the immediate future is with the lovers. So there could be, like I say, there's a possible choice between. Um, a decision to make between lovers here, um, but you're also seeing yourself as a as your higher self and looking looking for what you want in a lover. Now, Gemini energy there, Scorpio energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. Uh, but then, how how do we end the year? How could we possibly end the year? The Sun and the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Two nines here, um, so a 99. You could be seeing a lot with the nine of pentacles. Uh, but this is, and, and linked with the sun as well, with uh, the nine being in the, the 19. Uh, three nines is 27. 27 is uh, positive news coming. Page of ones. So, what a way, what a way to end the year. Brilliant. Nothing further to add, really. You've um, you've become a very powerful manifester, and now it's time to reap your rewards. Good stuff, Aries. Well, you could be dealing with Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo. We've got pentacles. We've got wands. We've got cups. We've got um. What are these swords? No swords. So it's, you're not even going to think about it. You're just going to enjoy and do. Okay. Brilliant. Right. Look after yourselves. Uh, like I say, Merry Christmas. Uh, let me know if it resonates, and uh, I'll see you. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.